I'm coming to you from an undisclosed walk-in closet for your safety and mine on this edition of the Tinfoil Hat Club because it's a spicy one and you might not believe it at all. They might be listening. That's how important this one is. I'm talking about a former Clippers point guard and a star. No, not that. There's not enough tinfoil to make a big enough hat to talk about that on this show. I'm talking about former Clippers point guard and now Lakers point guard, Patrick Beverly. I've sat here and said that he's one of the biggest Suns villains of all time. He should go up there with Ori and Ellie and guys like John Paxson, guys who have cost the Suns the ability to win. But then I thought about it. Pat Bev's never cost the Suns the ability to win. In fact, his little tantrums have come at a time when the Suns have basically solidified what they were hoping to do. So maybe Pat Bev isn't a villain. Maybe he's actually a star for the Phoenix Suns. I know it's nuts, but hear me out. Since he shoved DeAndre Ayton in the back, he's turned DA into the man that we've all wanted to see since he was taken number one over Luka Doncic. He's turned him into a monster at the rim. He's turned him in to the Robin, to Devin Booker's Batman. He's turned DeAndre Ayton into everything you could hope for. Since pushing him in the back, DeAndre Ayton has averaged 26 points, 14.8 rebounds, two steals, a block and a half, and 151 PSI when he dunks that ball on the rim. He's doing everything we've asked, and I think Pat Bev's to thank for it. it. It's not just what he did to DA. He did it to Chris Paul, too. And if you remember, in Game 1 and Game 2 of the NBA Finals, after Pat Bev shoved Chris Paul in the back for absolutely no reason like he did with DA, Chris Paul averaged 27.5 points, 8.5 assists, 4 rebounds, and a steal, and the Suns went 2-0 in the Finals. Yeah, Pat Bev might be a Phoenix Suns star. And that's why I'm saying that James Jones needs to get him on the roster right now. If a shove could do that for DeAndre Ayton and Chris Paul, imagine what it could do for a guy like a Landry Shamit or a Dwayne Washington Jr. Heck, maybe if he shoved Damian Lee like that in a practice, he'd be able to have his fourth quarter 50% three-point shooting performances for entire games. Get Patrick Beverly on this roster. Not to play, he's one of the worst basketball players in the world right now, especially offensively. I could do better than him, and that's saying a whole hell of a lot. But to have him on the bench as the 15th man to provide a shove when necessary? I mean, he said it. He'll do anything for his teammates. and That's his whole defense on why he shoved DA. So bring him in and let him shove his own players in hopes of making their performance even better. Could you imagine if he shoved Devin Booker? We're talking 100-point performances. Hell, 140-point performances. That's how good we could be with Patrick the Pusher Beverly in Phoenix. That, or maybe we could just keep kicking his ass. You know, the only way he's going to be any problem is in the regular season, because we all know the Lakers aren't making the playoffs.